Hey, it is me and I have a auction win and I'm going to go through it with you guys. And it's just a small one. It's a $16 auction win and I just went and picked it up. I have um, three more auction wins that are supposed to be delivered today. Um, one of which was um, supposed to be delivered on Thursday, today, Saturday. And I keep on getting re-delivery notices from FedEx and um, I guess that's a welcome to Detroit thing because sometimes that just happens and you know, God knows when we'll get deliveries sometimes. Um, and I'm, I'm in Southfield. So I literally am on the border of Detroit. I live uh, three miles outside of the Detroit city limits. So, um, but it's just like a carryover thing. But anyway, um, okay. It was obviously auction, auction lot 713. And uh, I'm pretty excited. I have a new like camera holder coming in and uh, that's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, so hopefully it'll be like less floating of my camera. Um, but yeah, let's see what we got in here. There's a lot of hopefully good stuff. It looked like maybe there was some good stuff in the, in, from the picture, but it wasn't, it was only two, two pictures. So maybe, maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. Who knows? Who knows? Um, <clears throat> I only, uh, I got this and some glasses, some like vintage rocks glasses. So we'll see. Um, so this is the first thing. This is pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of liking this actually a lot. Uh, it's the back and that is really cool. Actually. I love the blue AB stones, very vintage, very awesome. Okay. That's definitely a winner. Love that. I love that piece. And looks like we've got some pearls. These are not glass pearls, but kind of a cool little pearl mix. So that's pretty. I like the little iridescent pearls right here. They are uh, not glass, but it's just a cool little mix of pearls. So that's kind of cute. And what is this? Uh, this is a weird little, um, that's kind of different. Uh, I think that's probably going to go into craft lot. So we'll just set that aside. Put that down there. Let's see. Hmm. This is, these pearls, are, this finish is wearing off of these, which is too bad. They are glass though, but finish is wearing off on them. So craft. Um, that's kind of a cool little necklace, twisted bead necklace. Interesting, very lightweight. <clears throat> so that's kind of cool. And let's see what we got. Ooh, this is kind of cool. What is this? What is this? This is different. What is this? Ooh, we got a little, okay, we've got a dragon. Wow, that's very cool, actually. I love dragons. Um, and that is actually a super cool pendant with the dragon. That's the back of it. I don't see any marks or anything indicating maker or anything on there. Um, let's see. This is the clasp. The clasp is in good condition. Hmm. It's actually super cool. Hmm. Actually, personally, I really like it dirty, but I am really kind of loving it personally. So uh, I say, yeah, that's a super cool piece and we are loving the dragon. Um, next piece is going to be, this is a plastic bead necklace, black and white, very 1980s. This is a plastic pearl necklace. And then we have a, uh, it 
it's a some kind of pendant. I am trying to read it. It's Arg Argo Argoland Sutherland Argoland. Hmm. Not really sure what that pendant indicates, but it's kind of cool. And we have a necklace, gold tone necklace, and it has the the clasp like that, the little hook clasp. It's in very good condition. Um, I do not see any mark, maker's mark on this, but excellent condition, so that's good. A little heart brooch here. And on the back it says, the Variety Club. I'm not sure what that means, so we're gonna have to do a little research on that. Kind of interesting. Um, this is a little plastic necklace. It has a $3 price tag on it, so it makes me think that maybe she, the person that got it, maybe thrifted it or something. I'm not sure, it's kind of cool. Um, Looks like that's part of a watch, so that's a, probably craft. This is kind of a cool little piece. It's barrel class, probably 1970s, I would imagine. I do not see marks on it or anything indicating a maker, but it's kind of a cool little piece. So I'd say probably 70s. Um, this is one of those little lightweight aluminum mesh uh, necklaces that were big in like the 1970s, like boho style. Here's a cool little brass fish brooch. That's cute. Almost artisan made, maybe. Oh, this is pretty. So this is, oops, this is a brooch. Um, little glass cabochons on there and it's filigree. It is got a old, like a C clasp almost, but it's it's kind of an old style, like the way that it hooks in. It's kind of it's not really. It doesn't hook very well. All those are glued in. All those stones are in there glued. It almost makes me want to think that this is artisan made, like handmade. It's just, it's very rustic in its um, construction. It's really pretty. Hmm, I kind of like that. I'll have to look into that one a little bit more. Missing a stone. It's too bad, it's pretty. Um, old nail file in there. Um, that's kind of a cool earring. Let's see, oh, we got two of them. So that kind of uh, oil slick uh, iridescent finish. Those are kind of cool. Oh, that's missing a stone as well. It's too bad. So this is gold, like 
plated, I think. Um, I forgot what they call that when it's actually, I think it's like actually done over a real leaf. I'm not sure what that's actually called. It's kind of cool. Keep that, maybe I can clean that up. Oh, this is cool. So this is a necklace. Um, it is little leaves with a gold stone and little acorns on each leaf, it looks like. And that's really pretty. And that's a little acorn drop there. There's no name on here. These are, this is really pretty. I have a lot of these um, type of necklaces that are really pretty, but they're unsigned. I might have to end up like grouping them and selling them as a lot maybe or something. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of like interest in them on like live sales or anything, um, but I might sell them as a lot or something. Or if anybody's interested in them, let me know. Um, oh, they have little, it's got little, earrings too. How adorable. There the earrings are marked. Nope. Look how cute those are. Very cute. I like those. Um, another pair of, oh, it's just a single earring. Nope. No pair. Hmm. It's too bad. Just a single earring. A single little brooch. This is kind of different too. Look at that. Looks like it is. Nope, those are all stones in there. Hmm. Kind of a different little brooch. Oh, little owl brooch. That is some kind of nugget kind of stone in there. Um, oh my goodness. A 1944 quarter. And a 1942 quarter. Okay, I just checked and the 1942 quarter goes for about $7 online or the value says it's about $7 online. And the 1944 quarter says the value is between eight and nine dollars online so basically I almost paid for this entire uh, lot of jewelry here uh, just for from the quarters so that's cool uh, and my husband actually actually collects these so I'll have to get his opinion on these and don't mind angel maybe my uh, maybe that's my actual other jewelry that is finally here um okay so let's see what else we got here um, we have, uh, so we have this piece here. Yes, that was another uh, UPS delivery, so that was a good thing. Um, okay, so this is unfortunately a very damaged brooch, um, unmarked on the back. Um, but unfortunately very damaged. So let me set that one aside. Um, this is a single uh, clip earring. Let's see if there's another one in here. Let's see, yep, there is. Uh, so we have a pair of leaf clip earrings. Very pretty, unmarked. So those are nice. And see we got some pink <laughs> pink earring little drops those are kind of 
Those are kind of fun. We'll just be like a well, we'll just drop uh, kind of like that looks like. This could be kind of fun. Um, what is this? Oh, this is kind of pretty. So that looks like a little um, opal. Is there another one? Yeah, there is. So this we've got an opal. I'm not sure if that's glass or real opal yet. This is marked on the back. Um, probably glass, I would assume. Marked with like a see diamond and an kind of a weird little mark on the back of the earring um let's see if i see anything else on anything else i will assume this is a glass cabochon a glass cabochon uh very pretty uh those are quite nice um, these are quite nice little vintage earrings here. I like those. Here's another one of those leaves. I think those are called electroform, maybe. And then we have the hoop. Got some little tiny things here. You never know, because sometimes like in these little pieces you might have like real gold or something uh what do we have here a little motorcycle it's harley no oh, it says made in taiwan on the back um a little another little tack pin you never have very good luck with tack pins earring, a bunch of little tack pins it looks like, hmm. Oops. looks like a key for a music thing, I had a little, oh look at that little motorcycle earring, that would be kind of fun if I had another one. Another earring with a lot of stones missing out of it. Another one of those. And a lot of missing. Another one with. Uh, yep, yeah, not real. Oh, we got some, oh, we got some rhinestones down here, though, which those are always really nice to have. So, you know, honestly, I'm not mad at this little lot. <coughs> not a ton of stuff in here, but um, I like this little fish. Really like this little brooch. I like this little set with the... Um, Goldstone. Um, I kind of like this brooch here, kind of funky little brooch. And uh, this here, this little pendant, I'm going to clean this up, get this clean and see what that looks like all cleaned up. But I honestly, this necklace, I personally, this is kind of my style, um, but I love this and uh, this will definitely be for sale. And I love these little, these, I love, absolutely love. They're, um, they are clips, but I absolutely love those. And then we'll see what we can do with some of these other pieces. And uh, if anybody's interested in any of these um, items, please let me know. Don't hesitate to send me an email. Instructions will be in the description of the video. And uh, a lot of this will be available um, on my whatnot shows, um, or just go ahead and send me an email or send me a text at 248 
uh, 248-453-9153. And let me know which piece you're interested in and um, what the uh, timestamp of the video is. And uh, we can come up with uh, a good deal for you. And the, uh, I would love to get you hooked up. Thank you so much for stopping in, looking at my video, watching my video. Don't forget to hit Thank subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping in. And uh, I did just get another uh, auction when delivered. So uh, I will be having another auction uh, unboxing here shortly. So we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much. And thanks for subscribing. Thanks, bye. Thanks, guys. Bye.